Here's my A4 build project. It's a, uh, an automatic quattro. Um, for starters, the intercooler is four inches thick by uh, seven inches tall by like 27 inches long. Um, under the hood, we have a T3, T4 turbo. Stock tune, so I'm using the MAF. Um, as far as the wastegate goes, it's all generic. Pretty much eBay stuff. Uh, custom made down piping. Um, I TIG welded it myself. Um, it's a three inch down pipe. No, it's a two and a half inch down pipe, I think. And uh, I got rid of the cat. Then the uh, PVC valve right here, I cut down and I'll just probably put a uh, little canister on it so I can get all the... The headers are, um, I'm not sure what it is actually, but it has the wastegate flange on it, which is just bolted on. Everything's pretty solid. Um, the turbo. I have a little boost controller on here. It's pretty easy to put on, actually. So the boost gauge is pretty easy. Um, all I did was down there. There's a there's a piece that comes off my intercooler piping for the uh, pressure side, right after the. Uh, Exducer, and um, it goes up this little hose onto a T, and all that T does is feed pressure to the bottom of the wastegate right here. And what that pressure does is basically push the uh, diaphragm up, uh, releasing the valve and releasing exhaust gases into this tube. And what this boost controller does. For me, from what I understand, it allows pressure to feed from that T. It pulls some of the pressure in through this, up through here, and pushes down on that diaphragm. So basically, it's harder to lift that valve up, therefore, more, more boost pressure is being made because no exhaust is escaping through here. Um, after that diaphragm gets pressurized, it relieves it through this valve on the side right here. This is open, and this is this is a little bit, it's a one-way check valve to here, but then it can go back out the side easily. And it's on the lowest boost setting right now. Boost. This way is more, this way is less, and it's all the way less. Um, as far as the turbo goes, uh, I just basically got a, a 90, and then I got a 45 to go this way, which is this guy. And then the air filter just fits on the tip there. Um, Now, for the EVAP right here, what I did was just unplug it for now, but what I'm going to do is take it all out. It goes all the way back to this, 
and then this goes down. There's one tube basically goes down to the bottom of the intake manifold. Now, um, this tube up here is for my brake booster because that goes this way. It goes up into here. That goes back into the brake booster that's right there. What I will end up doing is after taking all this out, I'll pull this out. I'll just put the brake booster right here on the side and not have to worry about any of the evap. As far as the evap on this side, it basically comes down through here and goes all the way back down um, right here they call it the blue balls but I just have one I basically have one ball but that'll be coming out um, for the evap And this line as well all connects to the evap. It goes down. I think it basically it goes somewhere to the middle of the car on the back. Um, my SIA pump used to be right here. Obviously, it's not there, but that's where it used to be. Um, I have a couple of sensors here. This sensor goes to the uh, lights. Um, but these three, I don't really know where they go. I know this one is to the SIA pump. And then maybe these two are to a couple valves. Um, and then this is to my turn signal. I just put that up there because it goes right there in that hole. Right there. So, next, what I did, I duct taped this for now just to make sure there's no leaks. I need to get a new, new one, obviously. But uh, next, what I did is hook up my boost gauge, and that basically goes in through this ECU side, straight through and into the uh, firewall. But it's just a hard line that runs through. And it goes straight into this corner part right here of the intake manifold. And I'm going to clean that up. I just want to make sure everything worked. And then for the blow off valve, when I'm creating boost, it basically plugs in. Can't really see. Oh, yeah, there you go. It plugs in right under the sensor. It plugs in right here on the intake manifold. And when I'm creating boost, it'll push this diaphragm downward so the boost stays in this area. And then when I let off the throttle, the plate shuts, creating a lot of vacuum in here, which basically sucks this whole diaphragm up, relieving all this boost pressure inside here. So just mocking this up, making sure everything fits well. Um, it seems like it does so far. I'm not having any issues. Um, as far as this, the uh, release. Um, yeah, a lot of these wires, I don't even know where they go. So, but as far as this release goes, I'm not sure if I should divert it back into this general area to keep the boost pressure and the math and all that okay to keep the, you know, just to keep the, the uh, air from escaping and the computer to, uh, uh, just to keep the computer from losing air that it thinks it has. Um, so I'll just divert it back into here. I'm not sure if I will.
Uh, it depends on how the car runs after everything's put together. It's still in the mock-up stage though. But I mean, this little boost controller, I think it'll be fine right here. I can just adjust it whenever I need to. I'm only going to be boosting around 10 PSI. It's a pretty economical setup. Um, the reason why I got a new turbo was because this one right here My old KKK um, looks like a because yeah. my old turbo basically was leaking oil all over the place. Um, it doesn't seem like it's. too damaged, it's not that much play really. Yeah, there's not that much play. What do you do from the back? But it was leaking oil, um, I think in this general area right here on the down pipe or this return pipe um, uh, let's see yeah there we go there's the coolant and there's the oil but it probably needs a rebuild I'll probably buy a rebuild kit everything else seems balanced and okay uh, yeah but I might rebuild it I'm not gonna put it back on though that's for sure but as far as the engine bay cleanup, um, this is what it looks like now. Looks kind of bad right now. I mean, there's a lot of like the uh, the tubing for the um, the AC. There's probably nothing I can do about that. This tube I can move, but then you have these tubes for the fuel that run up here for the fuel. Can't really do anything about that. Um, the throttle cable, I can't really do anything about that. I mean, maybe with these, these fuel pipes, I can run under. And they can come up through here. But, um, but these pipes I can probably run down um, these freaking wires I don't really know this might be for my coolant temperature sensor I don't know if it is or not still a lot of work need to be done but um, as far as the vacuum evap system I'm gonna all these pipes in there, I'm going to clean it all up, and we'll see what happens.